Well, folks, I done went and done it again. Seems like every day I'm just hacking and cutting more holes in this thing. So, here's my front door, or side door, rather. And I went ahead and cut out a piece of the beam that was running through the uh, corner here. And I peeled back everything in the frame. And the reason why I just jacked this all up is because I'm getting a new addition today. some low ride uh, steps going in and as you can see I had to cut all that out because now it sits pretty much just perfectly flush perfectly flush with uh, where the door is going to close I'm going to put some more weather stripping right across and it was quite deep. Um, that was the only way we could get it so that this door would close here. Um, it seemed to me like we would have laid the subfloor first and then put this on, but this is as deep as it can possibly go right now. It's, it's all the way just on the um, plywood the subfloor now watch what happens when we close this door it just barely and when I say barely I mean just it would just split a frog's hair just barely goes on there and closes so these are designed um, so that when you're using it you can fold them, fold them out of the trailer and still shut and lock the door. And then when we're getting ready to go down the road, open the door. These fold up inside the trailer and lock in place um, with these little latches down here on the side. And, uh, and then when you get where you're going, you can just fold it back out. So super excited to have some steps. Now that this thing is jacked up to the sky, I'm going to need it. That little stool there wasn't cutting it no more. But, in order to do that, I did have to, uh, there we go, sorry that little door latch, I did have to cut all that out. So now, I'm left with a big gaping hole down there, and more foam, <laughs> but we'll, we'll seal this all up. I bent the exterior metal sheeting down in the hopes that once all this was done, I'll be able to fold that back up and kind of um, tighten this all up and, and make it look somewhat professional. Make it look a little bit better than it is right now anyway, just a big old nasty hole. But, man, I'm excited about having some nice steps to go in and out of this trailer. That is, Ooh. I gotta go. Whew, sorry, that scared the heck out of me. I, I backed up a little too far and I, I stepped up one of these railroad ties and they went rolling all the way down the hill. <laughs> so, no, man, got my cardio in for the day. Anyway, uh, really happy with these steps. Again, these are the, Mo ride step above um, style steps. Uh, I don't know, they're pretty cool looking. I like them. Um, they go between 24 and 30 inches tall. 
It has um, adjustable legs. You can pop out this little pin and the leg can get shorter or much, much longer. Uh, there it goes. There it goes. Um, so that'd be nice if you're camped in a campground that's not 100% level. And uh, they're very sturdy. Even not like all the way hooked up. Um, just, man, they're rock solid to climb up and down them. So could not be happier. Super, super happy with these. And we're just going to kind of be using this as a handrail. This uh, bar lock. Can't get a whole lot sturdier than this thing. It's, um, I think it'll be nice to do, do double duty. Uh, so we don't have to install something else. I think this will work just fine. All right, well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the wood, the subfloor a little bit, seal it up with some nice exterior grade paint, and then we're going to go ahead and screw that in place, adjust these little tabs on the side so they latch up with the door, and I'll have another video uh, once we get all that done. All right. All right, guys. So we finally got it with a little bit of finagling. Uh, we finally got these steps um, to where the door will shut and lock. And it opens nice and perfect. Oh, yeah. That's just a thing of beauty right there. I love how sturdy these things are. And uh, this makes a good handhold, so I don't think we're going to have any problems with this. And, uh, yeah, let me latch this door real quick. It definitely is going to need a little, uh, there we go. It is going to need a little WD-40 or something. It, it creaks a little bit right now, but um, the idea is, there it goes. Kind of like some attic steps or something. So, uh, that time will be when we're going down the road, we can close and lock the door and that's how it'll be when we're trucking down the road. Um, I'm going to take this uh, sheet metal that was on the outside here and I'm going to fold it back around. I wound up taking the piece that I cut from here and I just put it down in that hole and filled it in with some, um, filled it in with some foam and got it nice and snug down in there. So, uh, when it comes down, that'll sit right on top of it. So I'm going to take this uh, metal flashing and kind of bend it up on top of it and then see if I can start just sealing everything up and make it look a little better than it looks now. Uh, so we'll see what the end product is. But uh, we went ahead and did uh, quarter inch bolts. Um, it didn't actually come with any hardware, which is interesting, but... We did quarter inch bolts all the way through the floor and then up underneath we put some washers and bolts on. Uh, so I feel like that'll hold it better than just throwing a few screws in there. Um, so one little problem though is um, this handy dandy locking mechanism here that's supposed to attach to the door. We are like... A mile off <laughs> like it's not even close to being the right I mean I can I was planning on installing it and then this is designed to where you can uh, it, it moves on a slot so it's designed to where we I could have moved this out to where this lip right here would catch just inside the door I gotta clean that foam off sorry but anyway that's the way it's designed but I think it's designed for a trailer or for a, an RV that has like the screen door. And so it's a thicker, it's like a double door. It's like a door and a screen door. I don't know. Um, but this is where it had to be in order for it to work down here. This is absolutely, there is no other way to do it. If we had installed the, the flooring first, it no way it would have worked. This is the only way this could have possibly worked 
to get the clearance we need down here. There's, I had no other options. So that means I'm gonna have to figure out something to uh, lock this in place when we're going down the road. So I might have to play around with that um, and just see what I can come up with because uh, that ain't gonna do it. But um, at least we have nice creaky but nice good quality steps now. They are super nice. I'm happy. Yay, we got it. Um, so, still a little tweaking left to do. I'll have to figure out how to latch them in place. But, uh, overall, could not be happier with how that turned out. The clearances are super tight, but it works. And works well, so. One more step in becoming a full-blown camper. Yay!